I'm also a guy that went to Apex a couple of years ago. So I got my certificate and they told me, you know, it's lifetime job placement and um, you're gonna, if you keep an A or B average, dealership is gonna come and recruit you and you could be working for like Honda or Mercedes or BMW. I was like, oh, okay, wouldn't be bad. I had a, I had a B plus average. Um, I completed the course and I seen no dealership. <laughs> So I probably went to every dealership in Long Island, in the city, and no one hired me. I started f fixing cars on the street, was fixing cars in my parents' driveway, and then one day I got frustrated. I just kicked my tools, and I was like, I'm not doing it no more. And, uh, but still, that didn't stop the loans from knocking on the door. <laughs> <laughs> what year did you go to Apex? I went to Apex Right after high school, 2001. Mm -hmm. Tuition course, I think at that time, was about 18, yeah, it was $18,000. And then, you know, I wasn't working for a while. I was working off the books. So the minute I had got a job on the books, at the, the second paycheck, they garnished me right away. I was like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> and then I called um, higher education, and I was like, listen, uh, is there some way we could make some type of payment arrangement? And they was like, yeah. If you could promise me you'll make $90 a month payment and we'll release your pay stub, we won't garnish you. I was like, all right, fine. Mm -hmm. So I ended up paying every week. I had like a separate online payment going to them for like 40 bucks or 35 bucks. So I ended up beating the interest and ended up paying it quicker. I remember orientation day. It was so, the energy was so live and good in there. It was packed. It was probably about... 300 people in the in the classroom and uh me and my friend looked at each other like yeah this is it man this is the career we're gonna follow and when we started class it probably was about like 60 students in the class and then two weeks went by it dropped down to 40 and then another week went by and then it dropped down to 20 and then one day i asked the teacher his name was mr g all your years you've been teaching here, I think he said he'd been doing it for like 20 years teaching there. I was like, how many students do you know that graduated and uh, eventually went on, got a good job with a dealership and making good enough money to support themselves and their family? He told me zero. I was like, huh? The whole class was like, what? And he's like, zero. He's like, as long as I've been here, I've never seen anybody graduate and moved on to working for a dealership or started their own thing. So now I'm like, whoa, I just signed this finance paper that I'm supposed to pay back this $18,000. And you tell me nobody works in this field after they graduate. So I went right away <laughs> after class. I went downstairs to the admin office and I told them, I think I want to change my major. They was like, why? I was like, uh, because I didn't tell them the teacher told me. I just was like, I don't think it's comfortable. I should still be doing automotive. Uh, and they at that time they had AC and refrigeration. And I was like, I think I want to do AC and refrigeration. But I didn't really know too much about it. I was more focused on the automotive side. And then they was like, nah, you know, I think you should stick with automotive. Why? Because automotive is more money. So it's more commission for them. And it was like, you know, you'll get a better future. Who don't like working with cars? You know, we could see you working on it. And then I was like, all right, I changed my mind. I stick with it. And throughout graduation, we probably had like maybe 14 people graduated. 14. A lot of people, yeah, eventually a lot of people started dropping out. Wow. When I seen your first video, man, I was like, whoa, does this brother know what he's talking about? Because I experienced that. I went to Apex. I know what he's talking about. And then um, he started breaking down. He's talking to Khalil back and forth. And he's telling you his experience and what he went through and the steps he took to get his license and all the other COFs that he have. And I was like, you know what? I think I should follow that route because I'm already in the field. I don't have my license at that time. So this is a way I could get my license. I started small. I started off with the COF, the fire guard, the um, standpipe, air compressor, because I wanted to get back in the groove of... Um, reading and taking the exams and answering questions. So I got, once I got all the COF out, out the way, then I worked on my EPA and then worked on getting my refrigeration license. Mm -hmm. So COF is a certificate of uh, fitness. Uh, fitness. Yes. So that's all the fire department certifications. Right. How many do you have all together? I got 11. You have 11? Yeah. And I know the, 
the refrigeration license cost two eighty five with the mm-hmm. test, but all those other ones were like twenty five dollars each, right? So yes. you're talking about uh, ten of those certificates yes. were two hundred and fifty bucks versus right. two eighty five. So you're talking about you know under what six hundred dollars? Yes. You know you have something that looks better on your resume than, than most people. The degree that you got. Another added, uh, thing, a lot of people don't know that when you work for the company, company ain't gonna tell you because they don't want to dish out extra money. Every time I was taking the exam, I saved all my receipt and I handed it in to admin mm-hmm. and then they cut me the check. Oh, wow. Even for the refrigeration license, I showed them, okay, I passed. I got my refrigeration license. They look at the date. They look that I passed and then they cut me my check. I yeah. wasn't aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> That's- Some companies give it to you right away. My company took me. It took me five. They took, it took them five months to cut me the check, but I finally got it. Well, so I really, it's basically, if you look at it, you investing in yourself yeah. right back. Yeah. So all that money I dished out to get the license, I made three times the amount back. Mm-hmm. 